All right, hello everybody, and uh, this is Jeff here, and this is a fix it video where I'm here to talk about my Magic Chef deep freezer. Um, it's the Magic Chef model number, in case you guys are wondering, HMCF7W2. And I was having a problem where um, one day I noticed it just didn't freeze anymore. It was getting warm in there, and I didn't quite understand why. And uh, I opened up the panel, it's three screws to open this thing up right here. Open it up and realize the compressor was getting pretty warm, but it was never kicking on. It was just like, I would hear clicks, but it would never kick on anymore. So through some research, found out that that normally has to do with the starter relay or the PTC. And unfortunately, in this particular unit, this is the original starter relay. It also used to have a, a thing in there. I'll show you the original picture of it here. So right now, hopefully you're, if I did the editing right, you're looking at the original picture of this thing. Um, in my hand with the uh, the piece that was also a little black circle here. That's the overload circuit relay um, that was on here. But either way, now back, I uh, was having trouble finding this particular item online. And when I finally would be able to find it online, uh, let's see if we can get the, uh, the numbers here for you in case you guys are experiencing the same thing that I am. Uh, there we go. I don't know if you can see that. The, the L01F4K115. Um, I did find it at a couple places, but it was always between like 30 and 40 bucks. And I'll be honest, I didn't know that this exactly was the problem. I didn't know it was a starter relay that was the issue. Uh, so I didn't feel it was worthwhile to go spend 40 bucks on something to test it out when I can buy this whole unit for like, you know, 150 to 180 dollars somewhere as all these, these things cost. They're really not like super expensive um, pieces anymore. But what they did have online was a lot of standard universal starter relays for these type of units, but it was just not this one. And you could get them for as cheap as $5, which I did order one for 5 bucks um, because I, after a while, I almost gave up on it. And I started doing some more reading and realized that there's a good possibility that I could have gotten this thing um, rigged up with the other relay that you don't need this exact one. It just happens to be that this is the one that came in this in this fridge. And... As you can see down here, let me try to pull it out. The way that these things work, it's interesting, I can't pull it all out, is there's, you see these two, don't worry the power, I have this unplugged right now. There's two pins right here uh, that my fingers are touching. There's also actually a third one here that's behind this, uh, this item, which normally they correspond with these three pins on this original relay, so it would have actually plugged in uh, like, this this is how this this is how it originally came plugged in there just like that, um, and I use the multimeter to trace back where these things all go. So the top one went to um, actually the the black circle that was in here, which is the over fault protection, um, and so I, I've removed that. You'll see why in a minute. But that went to this top position, the twelve o'clock position, and then this blue and this white wire, as you can see down here, went to. Uh, one of these two other pins, there was only one connection on here. So it went to this bar here, which connects to, to one of these two pins. I actually didn't, you know, don't pretend to know exactly how all these things work and didn't look too far ahead of it because it was all like, and too far farther than that because it all goes to, to one of those two pins. And what you notice is if you can purchase online these very cheap ones that are the very universal starter relays as opposed to this one for $5, um, sometimes even less, depending on like what seller and such you get them from. So like I said, I did order one. Um, but in the meantime, I went down to an old fridge I have outside that I haven't been running, which has one of the exact same type that I just purchased from, um, that purchase that's going to come in tomorrow that I'm going to use. And I wanted to test out to see if it would work. So as you can see, it's slightly different, very small. Um, it's only got two prongs on it and it only has one spot to have anything, you know, enter it. So I literally took the blue and the white wire that were hooked up to this one, hooked them up to this channel, and these two prongs just go into the, the bottom two pins here on the compressor, which are, you know, the, the three o'clock position and the nine o'clock position. And the top one, technically you can take the ground that was originally going through this piece again, and you can connect it directly to that one at the 12 o'clock position. Um, I would not suggest that though. I did that at first just to see if it would work and turns out it does work. I then removed it and 
took the overfault protection out of this item, which is what was tripping the entire time um, and making this thing not work because something's wrong with this relay. Uh, so the overfault protector was actually tripping, which was the clicking that I heard and shutting the whole thing down. I removed it, which is this piece right here. I just pulled it right out of where it was at on here, readjusted the wires so that the black coming, the black wire coming from the circuitry here went into the input that it was supposed to and the output that was originally going out to here, this uh, this 12 o'clock position uh, hole right here. I put a wire extension on it and just made it connect right to that the piece right there. And as you can see, if I plug all this stuff back in, oh, now we're all, we're all plugged in and ready. And I take my plug, I plug this into the wall, take a listen. Instantly, it is just up, functioning. Uh, my freezer is cold again. The walls are getting iced. It is great. The whole point of this video is, you know, to show you that even if you have a compressor, if you exp ex are experiencing the symptoms that I'm experiencing, and you have the exact parts that they sell on Amazon for very cheap, the universal piece that is just like this one here um, that I have in here, um, with or without the overfall protector on it, you can get them both separately or together. Uh, but it, that's an easy fix to see if it works for like five bucks. You can basically swap your old one out, put the new one in, see if it works. In my case, didn't know if it was going to work or not because this giant piece here, um, is something that sells for a lot more money and I wasn't sure it was worth it. But when I did some more research, it turns out that people were saying that you can really use the other ones. You just got to wire it up appropriately. And which I tried to show you how to wire it up on this particular model. Um, so if you have something similar, you can use the cheaper pieces and not have to get a super expensive piece that you're not sure is going to work or not um, to test this thing out with. So now I have the actual starter relay on there, which is the small piece and the overflow protection as the overcurrent protection is still right there, uh, which obviously still functions and works. So I pulled it right out of here and that was, that was the exact piece that was there. So I feel good about this. It's great. You can hear the compressors on again. Didn't lose all the food. Um, keep in mind, when you open this thing up, there will be like a cover on this stuff. Um, whether I'll put the cover back on or not, I'm, you know, I probably should, but probably, I'm probably not going to um, because it's all behind this other panel. But if it doesn't look the same and you're wondering like, how did you get into that stuff? It's because it originally started with, you know, this cover was, was on and covering everything up. So you probably would look at it like this and then you'd realize that, oh, once you remove it, you'll see where you're, your starter relay and all that stuff is. So in case you're experiencing the symptoms that I described, which are out here clicking, nothing was getting cold, compressor was warm, but was not was not kicking on. Um, like you can hear the nice hum of it now. So there you go. Fix my deep freezer for less than five, technically for free, uh, because that was a recycled part from another uh, mini fridge I have outside. However, I do have the new part coming in because I still want to make me, my fridge outside actually function again. Um, I'm just not using it right now. So $5 is what the fix on this is going to be. I was going to get rid of this freezer. I was actually looking to get a new one so I didn't lose all the food that was in there. So thanks for watching guys. Hopefully this video uh, helped you guys out in case you guys are having a similar problem. But all right, stay tuned for the next time for the next fix it video.